In this video, you'll learn how to send emails from both the Linux terminal and from a Python script using a Gmail account. You should already be familiar with how to declare string variables in Python, and how to update and upgrade packages using apt-get. Before we can send an email from the terminal, we need to install two packages. This command will install ssmtp, which is a lightweight SMTP server used to send email. SMTP itself stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. We also need to install MailUtils, which is a set of libraries for handling emails. Once the installation is complete, we need to edit the SSMTP's configuration file using nano. Note that we must use sudo to edit this file. First, we set the mail hub. Here, the mail hub is set to gmail at port 587. Then we need to add these four lines. The bottom two are responsible for encryption. Of course, you should replace your email and your password with the details of your own Gmail account. You should note that this file is not encrypted, so anybody who has access to your Raspberry Pi can get access to your email address and password. With these changes complete, we are now ready to send an email from the terminal. The basic structure of the command is as follows. The first part contains the body of the email, the second part contains the subject, and the third part is the address that the email will be sent to. Let's see what this email looks like. In this case, I've sent an email to a Hotmail account, and we can see that the subject and body have been correctly placed. Now we want to do the same thing, but within a Python script. We'll use nano to write the Python script. Make sure not to name your file email.py, as Python will confuse this with an imported module. It's best to make your file names a little original. In this case, my email.py will work perfectly fine. The script will be a little complicated, so to make it more readable, we should first declare some string variables. First, consider SMTP user and SMTP pass. These will be used to set up the SMTP server, so we need to use the email address and password of the Gmail account that will send the email. Of course, replace your email and your password with your own email address and password. The next two are the to and from addresses. Notice that the from address is the same as the SMTP user, as it is being used to send the email. Again, replace the to address for the one you wish to send to. Next, we set up the email which consists of a subject, header, and body. The header contains the to, from, and subject for the email. The slash n indicates a new line, so the header will span three lines. To see that everything is in order, we can print this to the terminal. We also need to import a method which will give us the ability to connect to an SMTP server. The rest of the program concerns communicating with the SMTP server. Don't worry if you're not familiar with all of this code, as you only need to change the uppermost code to change the email. We first make an instance variable s to connect to the server. It then is set up for encryption. Then we log into the Gmail account using the relevant email address and password, as declared above. Finally, the email is sent. We need to include who it's from, to whom it's being sent to, and the email itself including the header and the body of the message. Note that we need to include a slash n so that the body is separated from the header. With the email sent, we close the server with the quit command. All that's left to do is run the file using Python. Let's make sure this worked. We've got the email with the appropriate subject, but we're missing the body. So let's check back to our program. And here's the problem, I've only included one new line. To separate the body from the header, I need two of those. OK, let's try that again. And there we have the desired output. Now that you can get messages from a Python script, you can get messages to your inbox about the status of a sensor. For instance, you can send an email if a temperature gets too high. Really, it's up to your imagination what you can do with this.